Say you're standing up. Okay. He's crowding me, he wants to pass my guard. Um, maybe he wants to push, this is very common, right? We even talk about this sometimes. He wants to push this foot underneath, right? right? So I allow that to happen. I bring it around the outside and put my foot in his hip. Okay. Now that I want to make him fall over, as long as his weight is on his foot, I can't really manipulate his ankle, no foot locks here. Okay. I want to take his weight off. So what I do to push him over is this foot pushes his knee. I just kind of buckle that knee and that brings his weight down. Okay. Now his foot's off the floor. Around here, grab the palm, I could turn. But the only problem is he could start to roll out. You kind of roll over your left shoulder, right? See how he kind of unwinds everything. Okay, so come back. All right, here, all of this. So if I can, um, I'm gonna take this foot and hook it under his uh, knee right here. Okay, so, so slowly, if he tries to roll a little bit, just go slow, freeze right here. I'm hooking right here in the crook of his knee. So I'm not even going to do the footlock right now, but as he tries to roll, because I have his knee hooked, he's making me roll with him. See how it preserves the ankle, okay? I can wrap this while I'm doing that, okay? And then I just add pressure, okay? Make sense? I want to be extremely careful. Potential to injure the knee before they feel the pain to tap out. So I was going to be very careful with this, but it's important to understand, you know, how these the heel hooks work. All right. So one more time.